Hi, welcome from wherever in the world you are. Now, in this Marketing Management 2 course, which is a continuation of Marketing Management 1, I hope you took that course, we will be looking at the rest of the marketing strategy process. We've covered uh, segmentation, targeting, positioning, and we've also covered one element of the marketing mix. We've talked about product, that's one of the four Ps, and we've discussed branding as well, but product we've discussed already. So in this, mod, in this, this course, we'll be discussing price, place, promotion, and then we end with a discussion on consumer behavior. So to me, it's extremely important to understand how consumers behave in the marketplace when we are designing products and services to satisfy their needs. Let's go. What will we discuss first? First of all, we'll be discussing distribution. Place. Um, we'll look at what a distribution channel is. We'll talk about how a channel is chosen. We'll talk about how channels are designed and managed. And then finally, we'll end on discussing a topic that, that I really find very interesting, disintermediation. Disintermediation means when an existing channel is disrupted by new channel members that have new ways of delivering the goods and services to the marketplace. Sometimes they're replaced. Sometimes the new and old channel members live side by side or are competing side by side in the marketplace. Disintermediation. Next, we'll talk about pricing. Pricing. We'll talk about how consumers evaluate prices. We, we'll talk about um, how consumers actually assess value. How do they value goods and services? And how the marketplace is able to estimate that value and determine what the final price should be. We also talk about major considerations in setting price, both internal and external to the company, external being things like demand and the type of market, internal being the marketing mix and the objectives of the firm. We also talk about the steps in setting price. And finally, we'll talk about the psychology of pricing, talk about reference prices, price quality inferences, and also pricing cues. For instance, pricing cues, one thing we'll talk about is the fact that consumers use the sale sign, sale, when they see something is for sale or on sale, the red tag, they use that as an indicator that they're getting a better price. They, it motivates them. Without even checking on the prices, they use that and determine, wow, they've made a judgment. This is going to be a great price on this product or service. Research has shown simply putting that sale sign on increases um, purchase in some instances by as much as 30% without consumers actually checking that these goods and services have actually gone on sale. Next, we'll talk about the communications model. We'll talk about um, promotion. Uh, oh, let me stop. We have to pause there, right? Next, we'll talk about the final P, promotion. We'll start by talking about the communications model. And the communications model simply acts as a basis for marketing communications. It tells you that there's a sender who encodes a message, sends it via a medium to a receiver, and that receiver decodes the message. And that's basically what marketing communications is. We discuss that in some detail. We'll talk about different types of marketing communication, how to develop a communications plan using the six M's model. We'll also talk about how you use integrated marketing communications to develop a brand, looking at things like the roots of the product, uh, roots of the brand, sorry, talking about demonstrating usage for the brand, and finally, what values the brand stands for. We'll talk about these different elements of developing a brand. Finally, we'll talk about online advertising and the risk that online advertising poses for consumers. Now, to wrap this up, we'll talk about consumer behavior. We'll look at factors that influence consumer buying behavior, like culture and social class. We'll also talk about consumer decision making, looking at things like cognitive dissonance. And basically, that's a regret you feel when you've made a decision. Have I made the right decision? You're in a state of disequilibrium. You're not sure if you've made a right or wrong choice. 
then we'll end by talking about consumer behavior and new products, new product adoption, looking at things like the endowment effect. The endowment effect basically says if someone owns a good or service, no matter how brief, they actually overestimate the value of that good or service. You give someone something and say, this is yours, it's worth $10. If that person possesses that for a day or two and they're satisfied with it, when you ask them for it back to sell it, they'll tell you, no, I'll sell it for $15. So we talk about how that theory impacts consumer behavior and adoption of new products. So that is it. It's a wonderful uh, four modules ahead. I'm really looking forward to interacting with you all. And keep on being very active in the forums. That's a location to discuss issues that you have or, or raise questions and interact with everyone else out there in the online world. All right? Thanks again. As I always say, go out into the world and be successful. Ciao.